Hello everyone. Today we are going to recommend three different books to you. Before starting these videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thus, our videos reach more people and frankly, this, they motivate us more. Now, back to the look recommendations. First of all, it should be said that none of these books are directly related to your department. So, why do we recommend it to you? Because these books will allow you to interpret many things you learned in the chapter you are reading in a different way. In the new word order, what's more important than the information itself is to process that information and discover new generation business opportunities. These books will be an important tool in your journey of discovery. You already follow the developments in your department at school, so you know the technical developments. Our intention is have these per perspectives that uh, will turn what you learn into money. The first book we would recommend in this context is Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The general summary of the book is as follows. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of the book, constructs a story through his own ch childhood. The author talks about two different father figures throughout the book. On father, someone with a civil servant mentality who lives in a little more comfort zone. If his friend's father is, he is a wealthy person who quit his school life and started working. Kiyosaki, who started, started working with his friend as a child, with his friend's father, he talks about the experience he has gained in the past years. The reason I recommend this book is because after reading this book, you will begin to evaluate the career opportunities in front of you from a different perspective, not like other people who graduated from the same department as you. You will feel like you have to be out of line. This is what you need in the digital world. But there is a fine line here. It needs to be fine-tuned. My purpose here is not to sell you dreams. I can't give advice such as never think about working for a salary, do your own job and take risk. This is not a realistic statement. While inflation and unemployment are rising all over the world, of course, our priority should be to protect our living standards. But on the other hand, you also need to know that this is not sustainable. Robert Kiyosaki's scenario should, be, should also be considered in this context. I say the scenario he created because we don't know how real its content is. Maybe Kiyosaki has experienced all of these writings. Maybe most of them are products of his own mental world. But it doesn't matter. What matters is the lessons we can learn from his book. For example, you can continue to work uh, bet uh, between 9 to 5 hours. But you should try to create a side hustle in your spare time. Or combining his hobbies with his field of expertise and trying to develop new business models can also be a product of this mental change. In this context, it should be emphasized that these three books are not intended to provide direct advice for your department. Therefore, it's not right to take the ideas from these books and apply them directly to your own professional life but you can develop your own roadmap with the lessons you learn from these books. Our second recommendation is Deep Work by Carl Newport. The focus of his book is on how we can get rid of existing distractions and work in the most efficient way. The most important part of this book that I can criticize is being overly critical of social media. Frankly, I am a little biased towards all content that over criticizes social media. So, why do I recommend this book? Because the author really has some remarkable ideas on the focus side. I think these tips also contribute in other areas such as time and stress management. The part about social media is as follows. The author says that due to social media addiction, almost no one can do business with focus. I agree with that. 
but I attribute it to people, not social media. A well-used social media can bring you opportunities that you may not find find in your life. I experience examples of his in my own life. Normally, as a career engineer living in Turkey, it was almost impossible for me to reach person in a completely different part of the world. But thanks to YouTube, you can watch this video in different languages. But the fact that it has these uh, good sides doesn't mean that social media is a rosy structure. I'm well aware of the harms of social media. Social media can often be the enemy, especially in jobs that require creative thinking, discipline, and stability. The endless field that started with Snapchat and continued with TikTok is one of the strongest reflections of this. As a matter of fact, applications such as Twitter and Instagram have also switched to this. The book, the book also talks on this a little, emphasizes the importance of distancing from social media in creative product development process. Yes, I said, I found it based in some ways, but I agree with the part of the book. Our third and final book recommendation is Kate Ferrari's book, Never Eat Alone. The prominent idea of this book is that we cannot sustainably exist on our own, that we need a community. I stand close to this idea, but there is also a situation like this. I am someone who awaits firm judgments. For this reason, I cannot fully agree with a sentence such as, if you don't have the environment, you will definitely fail. Because someone might came out, come out and say, I'm a sociopath, I'm very poor at social relations, but I made the most visit, visited dating app in the world, any person. Although, although it's uh, citizen France, it's not uh, the, that wide. It can be successful. The important thing here is what our definition of success is. If we attribute success only to making money, many sociopaths can achieve this without the need for an environment. But if you want a success that is as linear and sustainable as possible, then you need the environment where Kate Ferrari's ideas come to the fore. The other sort of cancels the ones who don't have environment too much. That explains why we should have large circles from the other window. In the book, we understand more clearly the importance of establishing not only a network, but also a connection. Because friends, we personally experience the content of the phrase, reason is superior to reason in our lives. Maybe you have, you have very good ideas about the chapter you are reading, but you feel something is missing. That's what you are missing, avoid that people from different disciplines will probably feel. For this, you need to be together with, with people from other files. To see little tricks like this, the book Never Eat Alone will provide you with invaluable references. I think all three books will give you serious vision, but I would like to add a footnote here. None of these books will change your life. Not just these books. Any book can and shouldn't change your life. If you look at books from this perspective, the efficiency you will get from that book may, may decrease. Maybe you can see these books as a mentor because the authors of all three books have a serious level of knowledge and experience. Therefore, their thoughts may be methods that you can apply in possible crises that you may experience. Might be a good mentoring service for 20 or $30. But a 20 or $30 book cannot change your life. I want to make the same point again. Finally, I would like to say a few more things about rich debt and poor debt books. Book. For example, you cannot directly take what this book tells and apply it in your life. And if you do, your chances of success are very low. The reason for this is Robert Kiyosaki tells the truth of the 1970s and 1980s in this book. Maybe if you lived in that period, you could make money with 
what is written in this book, but it's not possible in the 2020s. A lot of regulation has been made regarding the issues described, described here. The content of economic orders has changed in many different ways. But that being wealthy mentality emphasized in this book has not changed, it's still very valuable. Therefore, we expect from you having that being wealthy, achieving success, and maintaining that level of success approach after reading this book. Because, friends, if you are trying to produce something, life will present you with opportunities at some point. These opportunities sometimes come on, sometimes three or uh, two times. These opportunities may also be related to your department. It could be one issues as well. In this case, trying to get out of a place where you feel comfortable and communicate with people can be a shackle on your way to productivity. But if you think that you are not at an extreme point in this regard, of course, on the socializing side, there is much to be learned from the book. This is what I am going to say in general. If you have any questions about these books, you can write to us in the comment section. Same way, you can also write us a comment for all your opinions, suggestions, complaints, and feedback. If you think that you are fed from this video, if this video added something to you, if you like this video, if you like this video and subscribe to our channel, you can motivate us for more videos. See you in the new videos in the coming days. Bye.